Batteries, motors, and converters are all things we hear about when it comes to the electric vehicle. But it is the chassis of the electric vehicle that actually brings these parts to life. While the chassis supports the load of structures, passengers, and systems in all vehicles, the role of the EV chassis goes a step further. This is because all the components are built in and integrated into the chassis, making it a self-contained platform. If you've ever seen what the chassis looks like, it's pretty much similar to a skateboard, with a platform and wheels on four corners. And this is why the chassis used in electric vehicles is called a skateboard chassis. This platform offers a base structure for the motor, batteries, wiring, and other electrical components to be mounted on. For instance, models of Tesla, as well as the Mahindra E2O, are designed with a skateboard chassis to efficiently accommodate the power components. In fact, the skateboard chassis is a universal chassis configuration adopted by EV manufacturers that lets them build their own variation with the base design. The chassis can be scaled to fit different sizes and be fitted with a range of vehicle bodies. This saves the time manufacturers spend developing a chassis for each model from square one. There are, however, a few vehicles like the Tata Nexon that do not use the skateboard chassis because they swap out the conventional IC engine with EV components instead. This does not change the mechanical structure or chassis of the EV. But by using a skateboard chassis, space efficiency can be improved because having the components mounted on the platform minimizes the amount of space they take up. This offers more room for passenger space in the vehicle. While the battery pack is equally distributed along the chassis of the vehicle, the electric motor is placed at either or both ends of the vehicle, depending on the drive configuration. This distribution of the EV battery pack along the platform of the chassis lowers the vehicle's center of gravity, improves handling, and provides more stability during collisions. Placing the battery pack at either front or rear ends of the vehicle will increase the load in one specific location of the chassis and shift the center of gravity towards that location. Among other factors, the shift in center of gravity is one that can cause understeering or oversteering. If the center of gravity is closer to the front end of the vehicle, it is prone to understeering. And if the center of gravity is closer to the rear end of the vehicle, it is prone to oversteering. Having the battery pack at either end of the vehicle puts it at risk of direct impact during a collision and poses a safety hazard for the passengers. Although the EV battery pack contributes to the majority of the vehicle's weight, the platform of the skateboard chassis provides much scope for reducing weight to improve fuel efficiency and handling. When designing the chassis and selecting the material to use, the primary focus is on supporting the load of the vehicle and passengers within it. Both advanced high-strength steels and aluminum find themselves competing to be used as materials for EV chassis in the automotive industry. Even though steel is preferred for its strength, crashworthiness, performance, durability, and low cost, it does happen to be relatively heavier than aluminum. As aluminum weighs relatively less, it is a preferred choice for use in EV chassis. But when the steel industry developed high-strength steels with strengths up to 2,000 megapascals, it took the lead in recent EV models such as the Tesla Model 3. As research into optimizing designs for skateboard chassis continues, it will definitely pave the way forward for the future of electric vehicle design.